love you, boy. Uh, I love you too. It's you and I. Baby, it's me and you. And no matter what they no say, matter. I'ma love you every single day. Let's go. Uh, my first episode of my journey to Gambia for my vacation. I have already dropped it yesterday, so please don't miss it out. You can go down there and watch it. I'm gonna leave the link on the description below. I'm gonna upload the second episode after this BB Niger analysis. I'm gonna do right now because I have missed two days. I wasn't online, so so many things has happened. But the news I have gathered and then what I have seen, and I think they are really necessary for me to share it out here. I have them here. I'm gonna analyze them as it is here and also I will upload the second part of the journey so please watch till the ending so that you will not miss out my vlog okay so let's just dive into today's video today's video is just gonna be amazing I had I wasn't around I was not really on my social media rather um, some of my subscribers told me that there are people who are forcing um, also to date another girl instead of Nengi. I'm going to give my own honest and frankly analysis. As I told you guys at the beginning that Nengi has a reason of holding herself and also has a reason of still continuing to move on to Nengi. But currently they are not dating. But there is one thing I appreciate about them is their friendship zone. They understand each other and then they are loyal to each other. The day Ozo was trying to hyper Nengi, that was when I realized that Ozo is still standing firm towards Nengi. So whatsoever has been the misunderstanding between two of them, it might be a story, but it will never end. Because their friendship is already there. Um, if being sister, brother is going to help them, they can do that. If relationship cannot work out, nobody can force it. And I wish that it will work out. But if it's not going to work out, I think they just need to let it go. And I also think that Nengi is trying to hold on to herself because she is just being calculative, saying that, okay, I have met this guy just this short period of time and I'm a lady and I'm beautiful as well. I think I have a long way to go and I'm still young. I have ambition. I have aims. So why would I just cut my journey at this period of time just to get married or get in a serious relationship so other doors will not be open for me you know sometimes us ladies our mentality people always feel like we don't think widely but we do think deeply so my own opinion is maybe she doesn't want to put her um her ex in one basket what she's trying to do is she is just trying to lay out everything as a freedom of way that anybody can come in like her doors are open she's not gonna put any restriction between her and other people who needs her who or who wants to date her like if nengi is gonna date also now because they are all public figures hey boo let's just be realistic everybody is gonna know that also is dating nengi and nobody else will not want to bring your application so what i am thinking is she's just trying to be calculative and she's not trailing also the real, real, real thing that is happening. Instead, she's trying to make a conducive relationship between two of them. But also is still stubborn to follow Nengi. But whatsoever the case is, this is my own point of view and my thoughts. So it might be different from your own. Why not you leave your own on the comment section? But the Supreans, I also give you guys a round of applause. How is just forced also into a relationship? It's not really fair that way. Um, I think people should just take their time on what they are doing because sometimes I feel like when you force people, you force, force, force them, you can make them to do what they don't even want to do. And at the end of the day, they will have a regret in it. So please take it easy. I know you guys love Ozo so much and you guys want him to be happy, but take it easy. Okay. I think that's my analysis about this case. Let's move on to Ozo's caption. Ozo say that if you are working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you. I love this statement and that's why I read it. What did you understand about this? Because this is very, very sensitive and then important. So look at it and calculate wisely and know what also is really driving into. And 
I also got a video before um, two days back, but I couldn't really upload it because I was busy. But Negi was saying that she doesn't want to join the um, WhatsApp group they have created for the housemates living Niger lockdown season five. I know she have a reason because she said that she doesn't want Wahala and there are certain people she's not really close to in the house and there are people she's close to. She have already figured out her friends um, and she's cool with it so she doesn't like Wahala. And she was also trying to advise all these toxic fans out there that they shouldn't be fighting through over her. So they should just calm down. Let them just allow peace to reign. So please let peace bleed. All the housemates thing, I'm friends with who I'm friends with. I, I don't like to force friendships. Yes. No. I think I'm the only one that is not on the group chat. What? Yes. Yeah, and please do you. They approached me and told them no, I don't want to be. Thank you. Yes. 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 I don't see the need pretending or being in a space with people. We are not like. I don't like Wala. Yes. <laughs> so if I know that this energy is not good for me, let me just stay. Yes. yes. So, for me, it's just like I'm friends with the few people I'm friends Love with. Yes. Love you. Love you. Love you. And for the rest, it's no bad blood. Yes. It's no bad blood. I would never. It's just for your peace of mind. Or, uh, I really don't have anything to say. I'm too yeah. busy. We know. Too busy for that. Yeah. Too busy making money. Yeah. 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 So it's all love. It's all yes. love. I just wish me. Advice. What does it say? Okay. For well, advice, the only thing that bothers me is when. Yes. Hey. I don't, I don't, I don't like fights. See one of them. Hey. You want to stop fighting? Yeah. Yeah. See one. You want to stop fighting? 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 Yeah. See one. You about school. I don't yeah, yeah, like it's very bad. I'm like, yes to all. I wish they know that I don't actually care about what this person is saying. Like some things I just laugh about. Say, oh, you said this. This person said, oh, she's this, she's that, and I'm like, wow. <coughs> if only you knew. If only you knew me. I know who I am, and nobody can define who I am for me. Yes. So um, let's just focus on the positive. And Nengi, I think um, she has a reason because right now their WhatsApp group is trying to bring problems from here and there. And then, you know, some time ago, I remember last year um, when they created their own WhatsApp group, it got a lot of problem in there. It was a lot of it. And now this ones, I think the problem they have is envy and jealousy. Most of them who are not really doing well, they are not happy about the others who are doing well. And I don't know the reason behind it or the motive behind it. They just need to calm down because grace is different. Grace is always different. One man's destiny is another man's grace. One man's grace is another man's luck. One man's luck is another man's um, desire. One man's desire is another man's um, welcoming door. So please, there's a waiting period of time. These things I just said here, there was one of my lecturers who said this to me one time ago, and I believe in it. There is a waiting period of time, so people have fast waiting period of time, so people have a long time waiting period of time. So there is short and long time waiting period of time. Just take your time, your grace will come through you. Nobody can fight destiny and nobody can take destiny from you. Okay, so please just take it easy. Don't be envious of anyone. Just get what you have and be contented with it and be happy. And then peace will reign. So Lucy, the bass boss maker, you know what she came to say? She said a lot. She said a lot and I'm going to read it out. She said that I want to go back to being the bad person I have always been. Some people don't deserve good. So Lucy is trying to say that she's going to be a bad person as she was because some people they don't deserve good. Lucy, why can't you just be you and leave all these negative vibes? It's not that everything you have to say, you want to say it. So please keep it real, okay? And then she was also saying that um, like um, when you try to change, people will say that you have changed. But when you are trying to make people happy, people will also try to wreak your desire so she's just gonna be herself she's just gonna go back to herself lose it take it easy okay that's my advice and what do you guys think and kate wire also 
came out to fight with someone and I was just like, Kid Wire, what is really going on here? Kilo Day, Kid Wire caption reads, the difference between you and I is hard work. The rest is just excuse. Oh my world. I don't know why Kid Wire treated this, but it's like Kid Wire got a buzz post from this particular person who came to respond to Kid Wire's tweet. The, the person says, are you not the son of Terry Wire? That used to be picker for politicians that looted funds. Oh my God. Wow. Which good thing do your father ever do? Even your birth <laughs> is a mistake. Bloody. Mwah. Oh my God. This right here is one thing my father did for me. The man snapped his um, United States passport to show Kid Wire. Guys, I think the internet, sometimes the trolls are so bitter. No matter what Kid Wire father has done in the past, I don't think these guys will come here and they'll be clapping back with Kid Wire. But whatsoever made um, him to be angry to respond to Kid Wire or trigger him to do this, I don't know. But I just wish that they will settle it out. So that's it for Kid Wire. And then, guys, I'm going to move on to Blessing CEO. Blessing CEO has said something through her analysis about Kid Wire and then Erica's relationship. She said that Kid Wire is trying to play safe in his relationship with Erica and she is too emotional. What if something goes wrong? Who's gonna date Erica? That's a very important question. They should just go separately, just like Mercy and Ike. This is her own point of view. It might be different from your own, but I think what she said, I can relate with it. But Erica, I think she is more wiser than what we think she is. I think she knows what she is doing. I'm thinking that. And I just wish that Erica and Kid were, if they know that relationship was not going to work out, they should just fall apart in peace. But if it's going to work out, it's going to be fine for them. So what do you guys think about this? Okay. And I think I have a video. I'm going to upload the video for you guys here, for you guys to hear from the horse's mouth. Oh, yes. Hear from the horse's mouth. Because it's very important. On her, take her. What if something goes wrong? Who will not date Erica? I'm really forgetting my point. So I think, yeah. I understand. Wait. So that even if they want to pass, they just go separately. You know, just like you see what happened mm. with the kid, because they're not even dating. You might even be seeing them in the same place because ah, they but they didn't pass separately. They 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 embarrass themselves on social media. But you say it's part of show business, so you know you're not getting guess... my point. Um, um, I'm I'm getting you. I understand person. what you're saying. Every time is a very emotional person. What we watch on uh, on, on the Big Brother Nigeria, right? So mm. I just feel King mm. Wire is trying to play safe. Before I define it, let me. Mm. I just see him playing safe because Erica is still emotional and Kid Wire is a. Is a, is a free bed. He wants to be free. So maybe when mm. he defines this relationship, now Erica might start. I don't know if you're getting my point. So I just feel it's a way of also telling her, enjoy yourself. Free yourself. Mm. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Then when we get Do to you? that, we're going to cross it. Yeah. Guys, let's move on to V and then Neo. Some of you who were asking me about Neo and V, if they are really dating or they are not dating anymore because there is a bad energy between them. Nobody is commenting on other person's page and, and so on. Guys, there is nothing wrong with them and they are okay and the relationship is still there. So um, their WhatsApp group is bringing problems and I think Katrina and then Kaisha, their problem is from there because if Katrina is saying Wahala for who know like Wahala or see you at the reunion, hmm. You, you didn't wait for the reunion. That one far. Make we start now as it is hot. I know like Wahala, but if you want, um, I will give you plenty periods. Hey, Katina, I don't know where is he getting these captions from. I was even thinking that because um, Nengi was saying that she doesn't like Wahala, so she's not going to be part of the WhatsApp group. That's the reason why she tweeted this. But Kaiser came to answer to this. So I don't know. I don't know for them. My lips are big. So guys, I think this was all I have on this BB Niger um, analysis. And then roll on the video and watch the second part. The second episode. Yes. Of my Gambia trip. I love you guys and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.
Rappelons que le port du masque reste obligatoire à l'intérieur de l'aérogare. Au nom d'Aske, le commandant Vincent et son équipage souhaitent. When you need the aircraft, the personnel will check your boarding card. The flight suit to keep it at their disposal. Passenger with final destination, free tower and don't jewel are kindly requested to remain on board and on this talk over. For security reasons, you'll be invited to have a ticket on your hand luggage. Thank you for your attention. What they call them? Is it not drop out to the car? They call me successful. They are the best, isn't they? Call me successful. Oh, look at the queens. Look at the queens. Oh God. Drop the queen. <laughs> drop the <laughs> queen. Follow. What? Drop out. Okay. What they call them? Is it not drop out to the car? They call me successful. They are the best. They call me successful. They are the best.